today I will talk to you about truth tables. So a truth table is a mathematical I'll write this down so you guys can comprehend it better. All right, so it's a mathematical table that demonstrates the truth of a logical expression. Um, since truth tables are based off of booleans, you can only have an answer of true or false. So let's let's dive into an example of a truth table. All right, so a B. and it asks a and b so the way i think about it is as a college admission process so example say if you need to get admitted into this college say if you need a high sat score which is a and b a high gpa and if you meet both of those standards you're accepted and then if you meet none or one of the standards that means you're not accepted so let's do that for a and b the so true high SAT score, that's good, and false, a low GPA. So that means since he did not have the low GPA, that means he is not admitted. Let's do the same for the next one. A low SAT score, but a high GPA. Since he has a low SAT score, he is not admitted. In this case, a low SAT score and a low GPA. So that means he's definitely not getting in. In the final case, he has a high SAT score and a high GPA. So he's getting in. Now some colleges might say, you know what, let's have either a high SAT score or a high GPA. We'll admit a student that has one of those characteristics. So let's do it for this scenario. So A. Alright, high SAT score. Alright, but low GPA. Alright, since he has a high SAT score, he gets in. And one shortcut you could do for these OR statements uh, this means or. Uh, Alright, um, so basically what that means is that uh, it's either one or the other. If any one of them is true, like for example, say if B is true and A is false, this will be true. If any one of these are true between the two pairs, that means it will be automatically true. So that's a quick way to do them. You know, false, false. So it's false, true, true, that's true. All right, so now to the final column. Um, it says A and B. So let's do A and B. So true, he has a great SAT score, F, bad GPA. All right, so that's false. But then it says false or true. So that's equal to true. And what you do is you do what's inside the parentheses first. And then you do you compare that to what's outside of the parentheses. So let's do that for the next one. False and true. So that's true. I meant uh, false and true. That's false. My apologies. Or false. So that's equal to false. And um, one way you could do these quickly is like I said before, since it has or, if any a value is true, that means this whole truth table or this column, that whole column will be equal to true. Since there's no true in here, this will just be false. Since there's true, at least one true, it's going to be true. So that's basic shortcut to do it. So now I'm going to talk about how you do it in Java. So how to do it in Java. So I already wrote the operators, I guess, for Java here. But basically, you know how I used and, or, and uh, or again, <laughs> um, basically what you do is this is equal to and in Java. This is equal to or, and this is equal to not. Now I'd like to go back to this. Un I'll insert a column to the right. Um, let's do not a. And basically what not means is just the opposite. Um, very, very easy. So example, A is true, so it's going to be false. A is false, this is going to be true. That's basically what the not operator does. So then if that's false, this is going to be true. And that's true, this is going to be false. Uh, to put that in English terms. All right. So that's basically what the not variable does. So now let's do that in sort of a Java type table. So let's 
put some random uh, um, F and T's to indicate true and false. And um, before I continue with this true table, I like to come up here and be like, okay, so this is sort of like in English terms. But if you change this into what Java wants you to put it in, in you know, Java programming language, you will still get the same output. You've probably seen me doing it previously on accident. So um, this is typically, this will give you the exact same output. So now let's talk about um, De Morgan's law. So De Morgan's. All right. So basically, what De Morgan's law states, or what it is, it is a <clears throat> De Morgan's law. It is a law about truth tables and a relationship about them that can help you in several situations. Um, all right, I do not know how to spell it. <laughs> My apologies. All right. So um, this is basically the law. So not a or b equals not a and not b. And to know the other law, because if you already know one law, you can get the other one. Since it's not a or not b, this one's going to be not a and uh, not a and b equals not a or not b basically they switch spots as you can see so this part goes here this spot goes here and they have like the parenthesis um really just kind of like one law but um they make two out of it so now let's do a true table based off de morgan's law something very common um that you will get in computer science um yeah all right so to solve this you already know it's going to be A or B, right? So it's going to be true, right? Since there is one true, it's going to make this thing true. But you have to remember, there's a not right here. So if it's not true, it must be false. Let's do another example. A or B, false or true. So that means it's true. But however, since they have the not operator, it's going to be false. And then they have A or B, false, false. It's got to be true since the not operator is there. True or true, it's going to be true, but not operator makes it false. And you can clearly um, see this relationship as the, this column is going to be equal to this column because of De Morgan's law. So essentially, I'm just proving that the law works. So not A, which is false, and not B, which is true, is going to give you false. Not A will be true, and not B, which is false, is going to be equal to false. And not uh, A, which is going to be true, and not B, which is going to be true as well, is going to give you true. And then not A is false, and not B is false, uh, it's going to give you false. So this is... um. Two tables in a nutshell in Java and in general. Um, you'll be seeing these a lot in the future, and I hope this really helped. Um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.